I'm gonna go over how to save a project real quick. So the first thing you wanna do is pull out your USB that is required for this class. And you're gonna to want to plug it into the side here. So you take your USB, your teach pendant here. You're gonna stick it in like such. All right, and then you're good to go. All right, so just sticking your USB in does not allow you to automatically save. So you're gonna have to walk through a few steps. This is very important because you're gonna be tested on it, number one, and number two, anytime you're saving your program or wanting to view your program on your computer, you're gonna have to set your device. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit menu, all right? Then we're gonna go down to number seven, which is file, we're gonna scroll over to file and hit enter, all right? Now, down here, I was telling you earlier that all these little hotkeys, so if you had the R30IB, you could actually hit the touch screen here if you wanted to, but for now, F1 is going for type, F2 directory, three load, four backup, and then number F5 UTIL. All right, so let's hit number five here. And you see where it says hit set device. So we're gonna hit enter, all right? And then it's gonna ask what device do you want to actually set? Now, the device we're gonna be using is over on this next page too. So you can either hit number eight for next page and it'll automatically go over, or you can just use the arrow keys here. You can see it going back and forth, all right? So we're gonna use the USB on the teach pendant and then we're going to use ut1 and then once you do that you're going to hit enter and you're going to have your device set so now the controller and the teach pendant knows this is the usb port we're going to use when we start saving stuff all right now do we want to save something right now so yeah we want to save something right now to do that we need to go where we're going to save it okay so if we wanted to actually save this here we could save it but we don't want to save any of this stuff here we usually want to save our project so let's go down to teach and hit select and remember that brings up all of our um projects and for this this little demonstration i'm going to just click choose pick one all right i'm going to click on pick one and now you'll notice that i have a program here with 14 lines so the 14 here showing me there i'm on line 13 and 14 all right and then N does count as one of your lines. And notice when I was all the way on down on N that four was up at the top. Now I say that because when we get ready to save in a minute, you're gonna see an option for print screen. All right, now we don't wanna print the screen unless we just want a certain area that we wanna print. Because when we print screen, we're only just gonna print the information that we see here so it's kind of like taking a screenshot on your cell phone all right so once we have the device saved or the device set up now we're going to hit um the function key here and then after we hit the function this menu pops up here we're going to go down to a zero right so you can either scroll down with the bottom arrow like this so i'm hitting the bottom arrow and you can see me scrolling down or you can type in the number that's located here where it's saying zero. So I usually just like to say zero for next. All right. If you ever have an issue where you're having, you're being stuck on a quick or a full menu, you'll know this is where you'll need to go for quick and full menus. Um, and this is where you'll also go to save. So when we save, we're gonna go down to save or we'll hit number two, All right? And when we hit number two, it automatically saves it, okay? Now, if we, wanted to scroll down we would go down to two and we could hit enter there or we could hit two again and it would say and you should see that ls file there all right and the other thing i'll ask everybody to do not the ls file is go in and do zero for next go down and hit print now notice i said print screen but this time we're going to do print and when we do print, it's actually gonna print this code out so we can see it. Because when you save it, 
you're actually backing it up in the programming language that the robot's written in, which is Carol. And we don't have a way of opening that. So when we print it, we're actually able to see the motions that we made. We can't necessarily see the positions we made, but we are able to actually see the motions that we made. This is beneficial because if you've forgotten how you created something or how you got the robot to do a certain thing, you can actually see the code that you used. Now, if you save it, this is beneficial for if I delete it and you needed to load it back on the controller. This is how, this is a brief presentation on how you would actually save to your USB.